four days for different bus lines in 900 miles. I'm Erica Moore with the Boston Herald and I'll be traveling between Boston and New York City to give you a review of some of your travel options. So let's head out. First up, the Bolt Bus. It's got great Wi-Fi connectivity. The drivers attempted to avoid New York City traffic jams. It's comfortable, and the bus drops off right near a subway station. And heading back up to Boston, we took the new Yo Bus. I tried flashing my reservation number on my smartphone to board, but they actually require a physical ticket to board the bus. So they sent me to their office to get a ticket printed, which cost $1.50. And no, they don't accept credit cards for that transaction. But in its favor was a leg room. Check out the space between my knee and the seat in front of me. Next up, Lucky Star was comfortable, but not as much leg room as Yo. Drop-off location was okay. It's about a five-minute walk to the nearest subway station. And finally, the only double-decker in the category. Catching the mega bus in New York City requires either taking a cab, a bus, or walking for 10 minutes from the nearest subway stop. The walk is through a mostly deserted area on the west side of Manhattan. After 17 and a half hours of travel time, I'm back here at the Boston Herald. Now, I know everyone has different priorities when it comes to traveling, but for me, the Bolt Bus is the best option. It had Wi-Fi throughout the trip. The comfort level was perfect. I was able to sleep on the bus. It was timely, it was clean, and the location of pickup and drop-off was ideal for my situation, making Bolt Bus the best option of travel between Boston and New York City. Reporting for the Boston Herald, I'm Erica Mora.